Hot Tank on a pound for pound list at number 10. Um, Rain Magazine. I don't know, I'm gonna upload them. I'm probably gonna upload Devin Saturday and Tank Sunday or something like that or reverse. Um, you know, but uh, I talked about Devin or we'll talk about Devin. Depends on what order you see it in. So I'm not going to make it about Devin. Um, but I want to say Better B. Av wasn't on the list neither. And no, I double checked. Better B. Av wasn't on the list neither. And like I said before, the ring has no credibility. It's no more credible than my words. I don't care who supported, who co-signed it, who they sponsor is. And I explained that in the Devin Haney video when Golden Boy took them over. It's a conflict of interest. None against none of their writers or none of their people over there. It's an amazing sight. I said what I said. And walk, boxing around the, uh, across the board is in a crazy place because Tank Davis better be a Devin Haney have beat at least Jamel on there, Jamel Charlo, have beat more credible opponents than Javante Davis. I think Jamel Charlo, Jamal Charlo has beat more credible opponents than Javante Davis. Just to put it, and that's the 160-pound Charlo. J-Rock was more credible. Austin Trout was more credible even when he fought him. I think he fought Austin Trout or I'm tripping. I want to say both Charlo twins fought Austin Trout, but I could be wrong. Yeah, I think that he did. Jamal Charlo's uh, uh, Austin Trout and Dervichenko are hit them three wins are better than anything Javante Davis done. And this man took 600 days off, plus days off. So, uh, so what are we going by? Like I said, if you go on, have a panel of votes, or you gonna have a pound for pound list, and you a credible media source, you supposed to be a credible media source. There has to be criteria. My criteria, which I don't say they have to use my criteria, about 50% of my criteria to be on the pound for pound list is who you we, resume, who you whoop. All right. This is off the top. I would say um, that that'd be 50% of it. Um, and I broke it down. Other day. I don't remember what I said. And I'd probably say. 20%, I'll say 10% eye tests, 20% 20 accolades and, and, and belts and all that shit and, you know, moving, you know, and I forget what the other 10% was, but I mean, whatever it is, is, you know, what's that Wu-Tang song? It's yours. You know, it's yours, whatever your opinion is, but guess what? The cry, I hate people that always got exceptions to the rule. Always. It's an exception for this, but this is... It's always for my pound for pound list. I don't rank heavyweights. Once you step into the heavyweight, it don't matter pound for pound no more. You know, we all in the same race. So that's just my opinion on it. I think popularity play a key, you know, credentials play a key as far as accolades and all that type of stuff. And if now we putting him on there, his best win, Ryan Garcia, a D level fighter. Stop, let's please stop calling him a B level fighter. That's disrespectful to good fighters. B level. Um, everybody in boxing, in my opinion, is, is a B level fighter right now. Everybody in box, there's no A level fighters in boxing. I'm not curving scale. People got mad when I said that shit, but I said what I said. Earl Spencer, Terrence Crawford fight, the winner becomes an A. People say, how does that work? Like two B plus fighters, top of the division fight. It don't necessarily have to be, you know, top of the division. It could be a new way in phone to me. The winner of that fight is A level. And, and both can walk out A level. It could be that close. You're like, yeah, they both A level fighters. Both can walk out. Walk out. Canelo can never be an A level fighter. And I said this in my Devin Haney video. Anytime you get 21 nothing, 12 zip by an old Mayweather, I don't care what the weight was. Nigga lost every round. Then he lost 8 2 9 3 to Dimitri Bivol. Let's be real. So, fuck you, A level fighter. You out here getting swept and getting gentleman sweeps and shit like that. You know what I mean? But. But if we if we've saying 50, 60 percent of it is popularity and pay per view, but I ain't mad at it because that's your list. But what's the what's the set criteria? It can't change. The criteria is the criteria. But you know, if he cracked the pound for pound list at one point, Adrian Broner was on there, Keith Thurman was on there, it was all short lived. Thanks to Al Heyman to do the inactivity, but 
it's no doubt that I think uh, Javante passed the eye test, but you just, man, I didn't, I didn't got fooled by the eye test. What been boxing for a long time? You don't know until they get in the ring with with other top fight, with real other top fighters who ain't moving up in weight, who ain't compromised in weight, who 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 they playing on the same level field. You know he ain't earned the right. I don't get fucked with nobody say because Mayweather, you know, uh, co signed him. He ain't earned the right to say, well, you know, he too big. He got to be a rehydration catch weight. I don't respect motherfuckers like that. I don't respect Manny Pacquiao. That's a, that was a huge part of Manny Pacquiao mystique. Was draining guy. Okay, okay. If you want to go compete at 140, you want to go compete at 135, stay your bitch ass down at them weights. Don't come up here draining guys and all that. And boxing deem, deems who the money man and who not the money man. Boxing deems that. Who they want to push, who they don't want to push. Uh, they, they deem all that shit, man. To me, that shit's super weak. If y'all want to have catch weights and all that shit, guess what? Let's get away. Let's take away the juniors and the supers. The cruisers, too. It's heavyweight, light heavyweight, uh, middleweight, welterweight, lightweight, featherweight, bantamweight, flyweight, and I think paperweight, wherever y'all want to go low. That's what it really is, bro. And if we just going off a popularity contest, cool. That's your that's your criteria. I can't knock it. But then they want to front like they the Bible of, of boxing. Like, fuck out of here. Get out of here. Jamel Charlo really should have been on the list. Better BF is better fighter than Tank Davis. And, and no other than selling tickets and having Mayweather, you know, push him. Like you swallowing a glizzy, like 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 Kobe Kobe, uh, what's the dude uh, that eat all the hot dogs that be out there in New York? Like uh, Joey Chestnut, whatever his name is. Like he's shovel, he's shoving down New York glizzies in Times Square and shit like that. Dog, how they shoving them down your throat? Pause. Better better be have is better than everybody on that list. I don't give a fuck with nobody. Say Terrence Crawford inactive, Errol Spence inactive. Josh Taylor ain't look good. You know, Jamel Charlo, come on, man. Better be have this shit don't be close to what he destroying cats. Always any issue, Uso, you a fucking heavyweight. New UA ain't beating motherfuckers like better be have beating them. And I'm just being real. Better be have will fucking make Canelo his baby back bitch. He'll make Canelo a submissive uh, BW. How about that? Black woman. He ain't make Canelo his submissive black woman. He'll, he'll crack Canelo head open, boy. And people know the truth, too. Now, money's not good enough. I mean, he's a pussy, too, bro. Let's call a spade a spade. He's a pussy cat, too. He Josie and the pussy cat. But I just want to know what the set criteria is. And Tank being on there, it is what it is. Like I told y'all, what did Onyx say? He said, I'm not watered down, but I'm dying of thirst. <laughs> Cause I'm not, he's I'm not watered down. I'm not cause I'm not, he's I'm not, he's I'm not, he's I'm not watered. I forgot where I go, but I'm told y'all, man, that, that that marks the official death of boxing. Now Ryan Garcia. Now we got to see where boxing go. Now Tank and Ryan, you know, Tank go ahead and, and fight. You know, Devin Haney after this, Shakur Stevenson, Lomachenko. Then cool. I mean, I think it's a rebirth for boxing, but. I don't see that happen. I see us moving backwards. You see the media. The media suck. The media so bad that the motherfuckers got to go to YouTube and go to clickbait channels just to get their shit, bro. Just to get their news. These writers trash. Some of these dudes from the old, old media, I call them the print media. Nobody reading that no more. All their opinions have always been, been sponsored by cash. And that's what it is. All of them got a gym. You're like, damn, he got a gym. And it could be. It could be I don't like a particular fighter. Happens in the NFL. Happens in the NBA. Uh, or I don't like this guy because he blew me off for an interview. Or, you know, he fucked my wife. Or whatever it may be. You just never know. You know, you just you literally never know. Whatever their bandana is. Or he stood me up for, uh, for a dinner or whatever. You just never know. But a lot of these people opinion that, that, that worked as slander. Is financially supported by somebody else. Ain't no, ain't no, ain't too much good journalism done out there on, on no sides. New media, old media, print media, 
Ain't no, ain't nobody objective no more. Everybody a dick rider. It's only a couple people that that got that got a code. They got a they got a real code, like blood boxing, line killer, me, town. You know, town got that little bit more allegiance towards the brothers. I ain't mad at it though. Ah man, I lay into a, mother, a nigga if you wrong. It is what it is. People don't like that shit. I, I don't, I don't, I don't discriminate. Now I take up for the brothers even faster. So we all know how I go. Everybody got somewhat of a bias or a vice. Uh, who else we got out here? Uh. Boshito, solid. Um, Mike, uh, my boy Mike from uh, using the boxing voice and shit. I ain't seen him in a minute on YouTube. You know, my boy Mike Ross. Hopefully everything good, bro. Um, you know, it ain't it ain't too many, but I tell y'all, when you get into them interview channels, man, they have personal biases. You know, ain't too many people that can't separate that bias when somebody show you love or come on your channel. You know. That's why I just kind of one of the small reasons I res refuse to do it though. But I like I said, I ain't knocking it, man. Uh, like Ice T told when he said Soldier Boy, you know, fucked up rap. He said, "Man, hey man, get your money, get your money, Tank. Get your money. You can't knock knock them. You know, if they want to make you, they want to take the Ring magazine belt from Devin Haney and give it to you. Shit, it is what it is. You know, it's deeper shit in the world going on. But I've just got some questions. Like how Haney ain't on there? How Shakur ain't on there? He held, he got a better resume than Tank." He held the Ring Magazine belt. How better BF not on that motherfucker walking around with three belts? He better than everybody on the list, in my opinion, right now. And he about to come back before Errol Spencer Terrence Crawford about to fight. You know? You know, I hear somebody keep saying June 17th, Terrence Crawford, Earl Spence. So, I don't know. Ah, I man, it is what it is. But just to let y'all know, I'm doing a video about, keep doing a video about that. But, hey. It is what it is. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live or drop video. Financially, you want to support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313 Venmo, CJ Good 313 PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash app, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Peace.